Jamal James gets a close majority decision over Abel Ramos. That's what we're talking about on the post-fight recap number 79 on the Double RT Boxing Show. Ready, ready, talk that boxing. I am your host, Mr. A. We're going to get into it. First of all, like I said, he got a majority decision. Uh, 95, 95, 96, 94, 96, 94 were the scorecards. I had the fight 95, 95. Given rounds 4, 5, 6, 7, and 10 to Jamal James. Now, this fight was a fight of, do you want to j- score the body work and the dictate in the, the pace of the rounds, or do you like Jamal James' action? Because he looked busy, his long frame, his movement, he looked busy, but inside the fight, Ramos, um, Abel Ramos was doing a lot of work, and I'm glad. Uh, obviously, the, the the judges saw the work because 95, 95, and 96, 94, it was a close fight. Now, this fight, even though uh, Abel Ramos is in the big name, like his his two losses only were to uh, uh, up and comers, uh, Regis Progress and Ivan Barachki. So those two names are two hot people coming up. Ivan Barashki is the uh, the mandatory challenge for Mikey Garcia, and Regis Progress, he's the number one for uh, Jose Ramirez at 140. So those his two losses came to uh, mandatory challenges for champions now. So it's it's okay who he lost to. It shows you what type of pedigree he has, and he came out against a, another hot. High ranked fighter Jamal James, ranked number four by the WBA and 12 by the WBC in the Walter Weight. Like I said, Abu Ramos came up from 140 to, uh, to, hot, to fight a highly ranked 147. So I know Jamal James, to me, he lost the first two rounds. Actually, the first three rounds he lost to just cause, uh, even though he was pumping out a nice jab, you know, he was tagging. Ramos with his jab. Uh, Ramos dictated that pace, dictated the how this fight was going to be. Landed his own jab, got some body working, but in rounds four through six, like I said, after six rounds, I had this tied. I had the first three for Ramos, the second three, I mean, yeah, the second three for um, Jamal James. And then uh, seven went to James, eight, nine went to Ramos, ten went to James. So it was a, a back and forth fight, and there's so many toss up rounds in this fight. Like, no one really, even though I had it three, three split for six, no one really convincingly, you could say, they won that round. It to me, there's not one round in this fight, it, there's about Every round could be a toss-up round. It, it all depends on what you saw, what you're going to value. You know, like I said, a lot of people make the mistake of just judging a fight by power shots. You know, like I said, there's there's sometimes there's points, just simply tit-tat, pity-pat point shots. There's a who's dictating that round, uh, who's controlling. Like, is Jamal James fighting his fight or is he fighting the fight that Abel Ramos was making him fight, which a lot of the rounds I believe he was. Uh, are you going to count the inside dirty work? And Ramos was putting in serious body work, especially from um, round six on. You know, you could, and you saw a big flaw in Jamal James. He likes to bend over to his right and keep he keep his uh right hand. He holds the phone up good. He protect this, but he bends down like this. And all this is open. So, and, and the fact that he's already he, he he stands like this, you know, he will, you know, he will stand. Uh, Jamal James, he stands like this. He, he's kind of already crouched down low, so he's bending down like this. Bad, bad. So his his team is gonna have to really, really work on that flaw that uh, Ramos exposed, and and the body attack. Like I said, six, after six rounds, I had a tie, 
Ramos did take the first three rounds. Jamal like, was hitting the jab. The next three rounds, like I said, the same fight was happening for the first three rounds. It just a little more control. Ramos controlled the action. The first three fight, it was his fight. Jamal kind of changed it, made the pace his fight the next three rounds. But I said 57-57 after six rounds for me. And then in round seven, the first minute, Ramos came out just swinging away at the body, hurting by then the second minute of the fight, Jamal came out just seriously landing some power shots. Like this fight was all about that. And then, like I said, before I go into and then the third round, Jamal came with some more power shots, and so Ramos had some body work. That's what this fight was all about. It was an inside dirty work of Ramos, who did have his own jab. But like I said, it looked it looked more dominant with Jamal because he, he just linked and he was moving faster. So he seemed like he was doing more because his movement was more, you know. So like, oh, and when he did, and like, he, he threw harder, you know, he was linking. He threw his whole body into his punches, so it looked more. But Ramos was doing the same amount of action, just more control with it, you know. Pow, pow. You know, his jab wasn't as – he didn't land as many power shots, but – he also didn't get as many points as Ramos did, too. So, it, did you want the power shots? Did you want the overall points? A lot of, lot of, what are you judging in this fight? Like I said, round seven, first minute was Ramos with the body attack. Second minute was Jamal doing uh, some about good uh, a jab, a hook, power shot. And in the third minute, the final minute of round seven, they both each got power shots for Jamal. Good, great body work for um, Ramos. Like I said, I gave the I gave round seven for Jamal because he controlled the first minute and he controlled the last minute, but he didn't dominate either of those minutes. He just did a little more to win those minutes, and that's how I judge fights because it makes it easier for me. I break each round up minute by minute, and then round eight and nine, it was just the body work of um, body work of Ramos, really digging in the body, and you could tell, you could tell. Um, it was it was catching Jamal. It was gassing him. And give it I give it up to Jamal. You could tell he was gassing, but he still tried to go for the finish. Like when he did tag Ramos, he had to try and finish him. You know, gets the ropes, throw all his energy, throw his his weight behind the punches. He couldn't do it. Again, again, round nine, he was trying to do it. He had Ramos hurt. You know, he was trying to throw it. All of a sudden, Ramos hit him with a body shot, and you could see. <sighs> Or Jamal kind of like stepped back and his his for a couple even the commentary was like whoa I think he's hurt because he just changed his he went from a attack mode to a good like one and a half second pause like, and then he tried to like back up it was a good fight in round ten back and forth action I gave it to Jamal because like I said they were both finishing strong like I said and Jamal he was throwing a lot like I said he looked busy because he's his range and his movement and when like I said he was throwing his body into shots so it it looked I could see why judges gave him a 96 94 it looked like he was doing more and a lot of his shots weren't landing but just the just the, the action of his activity was uh could could be deceiving and I think it was but it was a really really good fight back and like I said no one dominated a full round out of 10 rounds to me eight rounds are toss-up rounds you know like i said did someone win a minute and a 50 seconds yeah did someone win two minutes and 30 seconds of a round no you know no one won more than two minutes of a round it was a really good fight back and forth action you want the power shots and the you know the activity of jamal or you want the great body work the, the, the walking down the stalking over abel ramos i i won't be surprised if pbc brings this one back as a rematch but at the same time it kind of seemed like like i said this is the third time jamal has been on pbc so maybe he he gets this victory a tough tough victory well he, it's no problem when he'll get in the victory, but at the same time, yeah, I, like I said, I had this draw. One judge had it a draw. Like I said, he's ranked number four in the WBA, number 12 in the WBC. He's a, he's a future opponent for Keith Thurman, so who knows what happens. But Jamal James continues to climb the ranks at 147. Action with some power shots. 
dictating the pace of the fight with some just serious body work for Ramos. It was a toss-up fight, but a real, real good fight. Back and forth. No argument with who won this fight. It was a really good fight. The Double RT Boxing Show. I'm your host, Mr. A, the host of your show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show. Post-fight recap number 79. Thank you for your time and support. If you haven't seen this fight, go watch this fight. Leave a comment down below. Who do you think won this fight? It's back and forth action. Thank you for your time.